I'm here with Eric Wood, engineering manager on the UMC line, and we're going to talk about the new redesigned UMC 750. So Eric, the first thing I notice, and everybody's going to notice, is the door. The old door was bigger, and it was on the outside. So can you talk about what you guys did? Yeah, so starting the reboot process, we took a look at the whole machine from an operator standpoint. The door was a big focus, so we shifted it and centered it online with the work envelope. Okay. And then that enabled us to bring the pendant around to the front panel right next to the door. Right, because it used to be on the side of the machine. Yeah, it was a little difficult to get to, but now you got the glove box, you got your wrench rack, tool holders, um, we put the work table, and your tool holder rack. So, right, and now we've got a wash down hose. We brought the wash gun around the front. You know, it just, we try to make it real convenient so you're not running around the machine. Everything you need is right here on the front. That's right, the wash down hose used to be in the back, so you'd have to run around yeah, and grab it. Yeah, that's right, that's okay. right. Okay, and mm -hmm. let me check out the door. That is a major a little lighter. difference. Yeah, yeah, a little lighter, it's a lot lighter. The old door, you'd have to use two hands. Yeah, it was a big heavy door and it, you know, yep. it, it felt nice, but it was real heavy using it repeatedly. Uh, this still has the uh, thick safety glass. Okay. Everything's still good, um, but it's just easier to use. And what did you guys do to address the issue of chips? Because I know in the old design, if you'd have a lot of chips and you'd open the door, sometimes you'd get them to spill out a little bit. Yeah, what, all we did was raise the threshold. The door line was way down right. here. This is we taller. brought it up. Okay. And, and then the chips can fall away from the door into the conveyor a lot easier. Okay, cool. Much better design, I like this. Okay, so let's go around to the side. And the other major thing I noticed is this big side window. Looks a lot like the UMC 500, but the old 750 had a real narrow window that didn't even open. Yeah, so again, I like windows. I like to reach in, I like access. It's nice to stand here. You get two vantage points when you're running apart. Yep. We slid the control back, which allowed us to widen this whole section. And of course, you know, it opens up future possibilities like APL, uh, pallet pool access, things like right. that. Robot yeah, now you loading. get a straight shot into the center line of the pallet. Yeah. Where you didn't have before. Yep. Nice. Okay. Um, the other thing I noticed when we walked up, I was playing with these tool holders. That's an HSK. Yeah, and that's brand new for this reboot. Um, the HSK spindle is super popular for long tools, right. mold work. Um, so I, I think that option is going to be real popular. Yeah, especially when you're doing five axis parts, a lot of times your tools are hanging yeah, the way out. Yeah, the clamping performance is superior to the Cat 40. So that's going to be good. And in doing that, we also changed this side. We've got another window over here. Yeah, again, I wanted to be able to see the tools in the tool changer without climbing on a ladder, standing on the coolant tank. So I put a, a vertical DF window in it and uh, you know, gives good visibility and access if you really need to. Yeah, and if you need to clean your chips out, it's a lot easier now. Um, I also notice there's 50 tools in this and the old UMC had a 40 pocket tool changer and there were no options, that's what you got. Yeah, so now we have the uh, 30 pocket 40 okay. taper. 50 pocket optional 40 taper and the 50 pocket HSK. Nice. So a um, lot of options for our shop. Yeah, a lot more spindle and tool changer options with the reboot. Um, also another big thing, obviously I walked around this before you came down here, external coolant tank. The old UMC, the coolant tank was actually integrated into the base. Yeah, it allowed us to contain a lot of coolant. We had right. 70 gallons, 70 some odd gallons. But it was, it was difficult to maintain. And so we just implemented the standard Haas external coolant tanks, and it actually simplifies the maintenance procedures. You got your conveyor here, your chip strainer, and you have a 55 or a 95 gallon tank option. Perfect. And um, for what you're doing, you have all the options available. And it's a lot easier to clean, like you said. You can pull this thing either backwards or sideways, depending on how you have it in your shop. And you have your filter, there's a screen in here, easy to maintain, you open it up, drips on the coolant tank, doesn't make a mess on the floor. That's a good it, point. It's all pretty convenient. Okay. We've, we've talked about the outside, but let's talk a little bit about some things you changed on the inside. So this spindle head looks different to me. So it's symmetrical. The old design had more of a box on the side. We narrowed it up, 
and we went straight up with it all the way to give better access to uh, full five axis machining. Okay, you know, so you, you got your tool. You got your you, ladder up sideways right. and your head comes down and you have a lot better access down to the vise. Okay. The other thing I noticed is you move the probe. Yeah, so that does a couple things. Number one, it's closer to you, so when you're indicating it or touching a tool, you can see what's going on easier. If it's in the back, it's, a, it's more obscured by a large workpiece, and um, I, I just thought it was a little more convenient to have it up front where you can really see. Let me show you another thing we did with the... Um, I, yeah, I want to see the vise on the side. Can you rotate this yeah, thing up? So, So this has the new side op vise or op two, op one, whatever you want to call so it. So let's say, for example, you're going to have a dovetail fixture on your platter. Now you've got an opportunity to put your raw material and cut your dovetail on the or side Or you vise. could mill soft jaws and do it as a uh, to finish off your part. So you do op one here, finish it off here, nice. and uh, and you're done. So it's just we recognize a free fixturing point. It seems to work out really well. Yeah. Now. I know internally too, this is the rotaries, you can't see it on the outside, but you changed the way these rotaries are driven. Yeah, these are driven, the B and C are both driven by a cycloidal gearbox. Okay. Uh, the previous design was a worm design. Right. Um, or the, the super speed was a roller cam. The super speed and standard are both cycloid drives. Okay. And um, the cycloid, it's more robust design that can withstand a little bit of crashing you know, it spreads the load out around multiple rolling elements as opposed to dinging one spot on right. a worm gear or a roller cam. And, um, and on the super speed, it allowed us to speed up the top end, so it actually runs a little faster than the previous model. Okay, good. That's a great improvement. And some of the other cool things we did on the head, talking about access to the workpiece, we pulled the spindle out and made more of a snout on the spindle mount. Okay. And then that, again, allows you to get a lot tighter to your workpiece without worrying about banging the head. Right. And so we, you've got, yeah, you've got more room from here to the tip of your tool. Correct. Yeah, it was about three, four inches. And uh, we also distributed the coolant nozzles around the whole head rather than one straight block on the front. Uh, you can pretty oh, much hit it from all I see all you've directions. got nozzles on the back now. Yeah, there's four nozzles, basically get it all around, and uh, the optional P-Cool if you really want to change for different length tools. Right. Very cool. That's a great improvement. And, you know, we kind of hid the tool release button, kind of made it a little more protected, and we got the coolant valve. We simplified the plumbing. It just keeps this whole bottom portion cleaner okay. from uh, just better access and easier to clean the machine. Okay. And you got one valve shuts it all off for uh, all when the, you're all using the your wash off. down. Ah, yeah, you can it. shut this off. You don't get spray out of here okay. while you're washing your machine down. Okay. Uh, there's also a roof on it. Is that standard or optional? The roof is standard. Okay. So, you know, people using TSC, shell mills, they, they really get a good rooster going out and they can fly over the top. Yep. More and more people want really clean shops. And so we just integrated the roof and, uh, you know, standard feature. Cool. And I see you got a cut out there so you can put the, either the enclosure exhaust or the mist condenser on there, right? Yeah, we have two options for uh, extracting the, the vapors from inside just to give you a cleaner view or keep your uh, air in your shop cleaner. So, yeah, it's all prepped and ready to go. You just buy the option and bolt it on. And you just knock that piece yeah, out and you're ready out. to go. Okay. Um, Castings. I know it's not something we can see right here. Maybe we can go around back and look at it, but you guys redesigned all the castings, correct? Yeah, ground up redesign. Okay, so there's no casting the same on this as the old UMC 750. Yeah, 100%. Okay, let's see if we can check it out in the back. So it's a little bit hard to see, but can you describe some of the things that are different? Because Right now, I can see the ribbing around the bridge. That looks different to me. So the primary structure, the concept is the same. It's a bridge, it's got a moving ram in the y-axis, saddle on x-axis, but what we did, we, we just reanalyzed every component and optimized for static stiffness and dynamic response during machining. Okay. So we actually shrunk the base footprint to get it more rigid and stable, and then we brought the bridge feed in, and then all the load from the cutting tool 
comes back and takes the shortest path to the leveling feet to get you to the ground. Got it. That's the most stable design. So the bridge is totally different, even though it performs the same function. But um, yeah, it's all optimized for, for weight, stiffness, and dynamic response. So. And it looks like the truck spacing is different, because I remember the other on the older machine, it didn't look like, it didn't look the same. Well, we actually did two things there. We upscaled the linear guides. So we're oh. now, we're using the next gauge up linear okay. guides That's on a big X deal. and Y. And we took the trucks and we spread them out along the motion because again, that gives you a more stable motion right. with less racking and resistance to side motion. So, And you did that in both we, the X and the Y axes? All three oh, all, linear all three axes. axes. Yeah, we did the same approach to all three linear axes. And we went to a, a longer truck on the Z linear guides okay. to, again, get more stiffness out of the Z axis. We had performance in mind as well as ergonomics, and uh, I think we hit it. So overall, more rigid, better and cutting machine. You buy the super speed, you can go faster on your rotaries. The linear travels and, and um, speeds are the same as the previous model, Okay. but um, this is a very fast machine, the 750 is. And then with the new tool changer, again, you have the new smooth, fast carousel, right. and um, your cycle times are gonna go down. Great. So quick recap just the major things we talked about a lot of things the door that's going to be a big one the redesigned castings the new tool changer options and the and deal an is the hsk availability yeah, that's going to be popular and the other thing i think that really stands out is the fact that you move the control cabinet back you got that big side window so down the road if somebody wants to do an apl or a pallet pool now we have access to it yeah we're, we're really designing for the future and um, I think we have a lot of possibilities on this new platform. Great, appreciate it. All right, thanks. thanks.